Hi, I want to start this video off by telling you something about Belgabor's Invisible Doodads because I get questions nearly every week, actually pr pretty much every week, yeah, uh, about whether peeps can actually enter my ride or walk on my paths because everything that you see is just custom scenery and indeed the, the peeps can't do anything with custom scenery, it's just there to look good and it doesn't actually serve any purpose whatsoever. But there is a thing called Belgaboy's Invisible Doodads, which kind of works like a mod of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, but it doesn't really mod anything, it just adds new things, like it adds invisible entrances and invisible paths. Basically, all of the things that you have in-game, which normally look very ugly, like, honestly, you have some weird entrances that you'd probably not want to have if you actually want to create a realistic um, entrance with custom scenery, and it enables you to make... Um, invisible versions of those things as well. So basically what I usually do is I use invisible doodads to make some paths so that I can use the terraforming as um, a texture for the paths. As you can see uh, what I usually do is first I just make that with custom scenery and then you just place the paths as you would normally do it with in-game paths except now you can't see them. Now of course that does make it a bit hard to see where you're going so you kind of need to remember where you went before but Really, it's a very handy trick and it's very neat because you can pretty much use anything that you like and not have to worry about anything in-game making it look weird or stuff like that. And um, it's also great for the entrance and the exit of rides since you don't have to have those weird entrances and exits but instead you can have invisible entrances and exits so you don't have the weird gates or um, you don't even um, have to have the little... Um, guy standing next to it who is actually going to like let the peeps pay and stuff like that so that's really handy and as you can see if you place on the path that you've already placed you can't really place anything else so it's always annoying and um, you kind of need to watch out for where you've placed paths already but overall it's a very neat and handy trick and uh, my game is lagging a lot holy shit then I don't know what else I'm going to do in this episode because I haven't really planned anything I don't, all I really did off screen is repair the lanterns again, like I uh, forgot to actually save when I made these little lights over there and also some other lights over here but it should be pretty much fine now even though I probably, yeah I forgot the benches because I'm stupid once again but uh, other than that it's pretty much fine the only thing that I'm really debating about is whether I actually want to place a restaurant over here or not because I feel like that would probably be better for just a standalone tutorial video since this is just how to make a basic realistic roller coaster, and this is not how to make a restaurant. I'll cover that in another video. So I think I'm just going to kind of finish this little area. So that means that I do need to kind of end this path, which is always a hard thing to do, honestly. Sometimes you have people um, just, well, I, I used to always do this, basically just end your path just by adding a little curve, and that's pretty much it. But the only problem that I have with this sometimes is that it just looks unrealistic. You don't just have a path going nowhere. So what I usually do is I either put a building, like a restaurant or something like that, or a flat ride uh, well at the end of the path, so the path actually goes somewhere. But in this case, I'm not going to do any of those things, simply because this is a tutorial on how to make a realistic roller coaster, and not the entire park around it. But I would say that um, it would normally be better to place a small flat ride or just something else that you'd want the path to go to and over here. Now of course if you're just building a park then this won't be a problem at all because this path is just going to lead to some other part of the park obviously. So I'm just going to kind of end this in a very weird way and kind of sudden I guess. There's no real other way to get around doing this so really this is all that you can really do. Though you might also come up with some creative things. Sometimes I also just like to extend my path to nowhere, so just kind of extend it long enough that you don't really see the end of it, and then just place trees around it and then just call it a day and not work on that anymore. That also works, I guess. But that only works if you really create a large enough path that you can't really see the end of it anymore. And um, I'm going to later on finish this with much of a problem. But. I do want that to look somewhat decent, so this is gonna be it's gonna be kind of hard. I don't think you should really smooth this now you shouldn't why why did I even smooth that in the first place? It's probably better to just kind of make it like this because I want to create a curve that's that's one of the uh harder things simply because uh the sidewalk of course can um be flat even if you have some weird terraforming things underneath it, but if you are using the um 
this method to make paths. So basically using Belgaboy's invisible doodads and the in-game terrain te um, textures to create a path, then um, you must always realize that you can't really do anything that doesn't conform to the terrain. So you can't build any bridges with that kind of texture and you can't make any cliff sites. And that's also why I was kind of forced to have this site walk over here. Simply because otherwise you would have a very weird um, disappearing path over here and you wouldn't like that. So I'm going to quickly finish this off with Shy Guys Planter Scam because that's a great set, honestly. It's one of those one of those great sets that everybody uses, but really, I could see why everybody uses it. And oh, this should be pretty good. Oh wait, that thing is sticking out. Oh, that's not too much of an issue. You can always just place a random rock over there. And at that point, I feel like it would probably not be a good idea to have it end like that. No. Simply because this needs to be a cliffside all the way, so just going to continue that like this. And I think I'm noticing that the grass is also a bit greener, so should definitely change that as well. And I don't know, want, do I want to smooth this already? Yeah, I kind of do. I'm just going to smooth it. And then I might just add a flat right over here, honestly. Just for the heck of it. There's enough there's enough room for it. So might as well try it. That's actually a great idea, let's see. Uh I don't have many CFRs those, though. Uh this is um well somewhat surprising for some people, but I barely have any CFRs. I should definitely download some more. Some people just have hundreds of these things, but I barely have any. Um, this is honestly just pick whatever you like. I just kind of need to look at this and I don't know what I want over here. It doesn't really matter. It's just a generic something, so anything should go, really. I feel like... No, th these are themed rights. I don't want to have any specific theme, simply because the coaster doesn't have one. It wouldn't make sense to have a non-themed coaster with a very heavily themed flat right next to it. Unless you are, of course, Six Flags, but that's a different story. I feel like this insanity should should be good. Oh wait, that's a bit too big. That's not, that's not going to work. Too big. Maybe one of the uh, kiddie rides because they're usually somewhat smaller. Um, I just picked the wrong one. In-game rides. I think this um, Troika is probably too big too. Yeah, that's way too big. That's even bigger. Wow. Well then, let's just see if one of these things actually works. I don't, I, I don't know why the merry-go-round isn't in, like the uh, freaking thrill rides because it's not a thrill ride at all. But whatever. Um, what if it, well, imagine imaginary John's things are pretty cool, but I don't know about those things. Also, if if you if you want to have any of these things specifically, I can always um give a link. Or if there's anything that you're wondering about that I didn't give in the video and I only showed, um, then you can always ask me because I can always, well, give that. It's pretty easy to do. Let's see. Oh god, I'm so bad at this. Partly due to the fact that I barely... I just need to get over this and play something. Crazy Taxi. Okay, Crazy Taxi it is. Oh god, this is stupid. This doesn't even make sense. Um, but just my entire idea of placing this thing here. Also, I kind of want something that at least has a cool structure going on. Okay? I don't want to be too picky, but I do want something that looks somewhat good. Evolution is pretty much, like, a revolution. Revolution and evolution. Wow. Wait, how does this even work? Oh, of course, there's custom scenery for this. Well, do I even have custom scenery? I don't know. Well... Okay, give me something good. How I, how am I this bad at this? I, I, I'm i just going to go for the, the, the freaking pirate ship, honestly. And it fits. Yeah, it fits. And here you can also see that Balgobor's, um invisible doodads with the in invisible entrance. Also, you can see those green arrows. They are from um, Vodhin's... Vodhin's, what is it even? I don't, v Vodhin's entrances. He also has invisible entrances, but honestly, um, Belgabor's invisible doodads will also get you the same results. So it doesn't really matter, okay? Now, this is going to be hard because you're going to have to, well, 
not exactly with the cue, but you're going to have to kind of memorize where it goes because also, um, like I said, many in-game things are replaced with uh, an invisible thing in Velga Boys, invisible doodads, and so are the fences. So that's really handy. I think I'm just going to put the exit over here. Yeah. And let that just end there. Also, I'm going to bring the path out over here. Um, oops, that doesn't really work the way I wanted it to. Also, I always like to just keep one narrow invisible path in the middle of my paths. Simply because the peeps in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and uh, in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 too, well, honestly, they're less dumb in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, but they're still idiots and they don't know where to go. So, usually, if you build very wide paths everywhere, peeps are going to get lost um, quickly. So, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I, I just usually make my paths look wide by building them like this with custom scenery and then just using invisible doodads to make one narrow little well, path in the middle of them. So it actually looks like, like there's a white path, but peeps are not going to get lost in them. And, yeah, that'll be the pirate ship. Now, I'm just going to turn that fence on again, and actually work on some custom scenery stuff, because I do want to see where everything's going. So we've got the exit over there, so I'm going to have to have an exit path over there, and the queue line is going to be here. Okay, good. Now, I, I'm not going to do anything ridiculous with this. I'm just going to make a very simple queue line and very simple everything, simply just just to get over with this. And really, this is not going to be too much too much part of the ride. It's just something that's going to be there so it looks fancy. So you have something going on. So you, you kind of create that idea that you're actually in a theme park just by adding one flat ride or just a couple of flat rides to your coaster. It's something that many people do. And um, I kind of want to add some fences to this. Let me see, station gyms, um, more fencing might work, but then again, I don't want to use the same fences everywhere for the same reason that I've talked about last episode. It's kind of stupid to have the same fences all over the place. It's always fun to just kind of mess around with various fences, and it just kind of looks cooler too. So, I think I'm just going to go with the brick fences, or not. Might work, honestly. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. Okay, so, I'm just going to place these things. Though, I do want this to be kind of round. Never mind. I'm going to make that round. And I don't know if you can place them like that. No, that doesn't work. Okay. We don't want we don't want any glitches, so I'm just going to place that. And in the middle of this, I'm just going to use Coaster Joe's Q-Line fences, which is what I usually do. Honestly, when it comes to fences and other theme park specific sub stuff that doesn't necessarily have to do with actual building things I really suck at that so I I would normally tell people to not take all of my advice on it but then again I do have some experience with it simply because I'm in this community but really I'm terrible when it comes to theme park specific things like queue lines and fast pass lines and stuff like that honestly when I, like I, I have to say that I kind of need to investigate on that subject more often. I just don't, for some reason. But then again, this is just a background ride. Really, you shouldn't pay too much attention to this. You shouldn't really spend too much time on these things, simply because they're not going to be of any value anyway. It's just going to be a waste of time to spend too much time on stuff like this. That's also one of the things that I judge things on sometimes. Sometimes I just want something to look amazing, but when it comes to actually um, the importance of the way it looks in the final video or the pictures doesn't really matter, then I usually just kind of ignore it. And that counts for this little pirate ship well. I'm just going to do these things so that it doesn't look weird and out of place and unfinished, but it's not going to be too special. Okay. I do kind of like this look with all the bricks and stuff. Though then again, this is a great set. Honestly, any station gym set is great. And this one is no no exception. Now, something to keep in mind while using this set though, is that it's one of those sets where you have to place the post to yourself. So, and especially on these corners where you otherwise get weird glitches, it's pretty important to place these posts too. And it does cost a bit more time, but it's also something that looks great and simply for practical reasons you can't have all the posts within the fences because then you would 
have overlapping posts and more LODs than you'd really need and more lag than you want to have. So really they're there for practical reasons. Also it just makes the set more flexible in general. So that's why I always like to use sets like this. It takes more time to use sets like this but in the long run it's worth it. Now I don't know if I should really spend this much time on the back side but well, I, I, I can always just go for it I guess. Um, I don't know, it does look a bit boring like this, doesn't it? You'd have the same fence, that same stone thing everywhere. Don't really know if I really like it. Oh well, I'm just going to finish this and see how it turns out. Also, also there's no way, to, there's no real reason to do this. Little square-ish kind of thing with a fountain or something like that. That would be really cool. And could kind of have this thing over here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to continue on this, which I think is in CTR's paths. Yep, it is. And then we're going to have to take the round one and put it over there. And oops, I just removed one of the invisible parts, but I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. And that's all not done, and that's pretty cool. Really? Do, really? Do you have to do? Do you have to do this? Okay, I can't. Oh wow, that was that was stupid. Why does it always? Why do update programs always take the wrong time to talk about the stupid updates? Why that? Why? 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 Why, why does that always happen? Anyway, I just realized that I was kind of stupid when, when designing this thing because it kind of just ends in the middle of nowhere there. So I'm probably going to want to change the direction that this queue line goes and just kind of extend the path over there. I'm not going to change that. But the queue line should like go over here or something like that. Yeah, that's better. Now this is pretty much uh, all good, so I don't have to use this anymore. But what I do need is... I think it's this fence. Yeah, it's this fence. Oh god. This is this is one of the reasons why it's usually so well, a better idea to just finish things right away uh in case that you forget what kind of set you've used because um like where you're me and you've played Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 too much and to no life that you kind of find things all the time simply because you're too addicted to it. But it does matter when you're using new sets, for example, or you haven't worked on a project for a while and you've kind of forgot what kind of pieces you've used. And you've sometimes it just decides to kind of, yeah, be annoying. So, searching through all your sets and looking for what set you've used for something is certainly something you'd want to avoid. And I think that little thing is from CTR's path walls. Yep, it is. Okay, good. It's a... Not, it's not that thing. But it's not this thing either. What's with this? Hmm, this is very strange. I think, it's, I think it is this thing. But it doesn't really look like it. But I think it's... It doesn't really... Yeah. Is this even possible? Yeah, I placed walls like that... Yeah, I placed walls like that, didn't I? Or did I? Does this thing even have two times two walls? Doesn't seem like it really does. And that's not entirely a two times two wall. Now I think about it. Even though it does look like it. Okay, I'm completely... Oh wait, I think I remember. I think I remember. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that what I did was actually not use this simply because they don't have the same pieces so it's it's probably this then yeah I think so yeah it was this okay good so this should work yeah I think I think I've talked about this earlier how um, some sets don't have that um, two curve or basically other curves but do have the straight to diagonal piece and that in such a case you can use the straight to diagonal piece to actually make a two um, tile curve like that. It's not entirely as well curvy as the two tile curve but it does work 
and it doesn't really matter that much. So if I'm right, this should be fine. Uh, let's see, the colors that I used was like this on the bottom, the top. And it works. Oh yes, beautiful. It kind of works though, it's not, it's not exactly the same. Maybe it's the um, 1 times 5, honestly. Ah oh, yeah, it's this one. Okay, even better, so that really works. Um, so then this should be on that side. Ah, oh, beautiful, yes. That is great. And a wall over here, and a wall over there, and a diagonal half, and then everything is finished over here. Nice. Okay, now we do need to replace these little fences over here with more fences. It does take a little bit more time. Um, like that. Yep. And another one over there. And then one diagonal thing in the middle. Let's see where those diagonal pieces over there. Nice. So this is all finished now, I think. Yeah, that's great. Now I do want to continue um, the color of this path over here to make a little square. So I'm just going to place this over here, over here real quick before I forget about that. And then it's pretty much time to finish the sidewalk here. Because I don't like the way that this looks when it's unfinished. So let's see. Coaster Joe's Pathway Extensions. I just love this app because it's very it's very user friendly. You can it's got great thumbnails of what every piece looks like. It's got names everywhere. It's pretty good. And it also looks good. But this two times two curve doesn't really work on that. So sadly I'm going to have to use the more time consuming way of doing things. Let's see, erase that. Also, I told that's a bad idea use the full pieces on this set for um, two half pieces simply because they don't have a quarter tile placement. I don't know why that's that way but if you for example want to place a full tile but with an offset placement you're gonna have to use two half pieces. I don't know why that's the way it is but it's just something to keep in mind. Now to quickly finish off that sidewalk I'm just going to add a curb using branches set again which is an awesome set. It's just something I don't know if I if I've talked about this earlier as well, but I'm just going to talk about it anyway because I always forget about things. I I forget about everything in my life ever. But basically, these yeah, the path covers are kind of very flat and they don't really look like a sidewalk. So if you add the curves, you're gonna kind of create that illusion that it's somewhat higher than the rest of the path. So that's usually why I use those things. Also, it just looks fancier, especially from a bird's eye perspective. And that should pretty much be good. Now let's go to one of my favorite things to do in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 before I end this, which is choose a fountain. Even though everybody always uses the same fountains for everything because Ralphie's fountains is overused, it's still great. And uh, I don't know what kind of fountain I want to use for this one though. I feel like uh, Mary J would work. Mary J is pretty cool. Right? Not Princess Mary. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay. Wow. That was uh that was weird. But it does work, okay. Princess Mary it is. Wow. I've been on seeing that crazy rambling today. And that's pretty much it. I like I like the way that the fountain works with the uh pirate ship. But I think that in the next episode I'm just going to quickly finish this off, add some path covers to the pirate ship and finish off the queue before I move on to other things and at that point all I really have to do is just finish off this area I I'm, don't think that I'm really going to add anything to this really I'm just going to quickly finish off the path just by ending it and then it's all just foliage work and adding little things and then this coast is pretty much finished and now even though it doesn't really look that way this coast is nearly finished you're way over halfway done if you've got it kind of like looking like this because even though foliage has a huge impact on the way the roller coaster works. It's one of the smallest things to do. It doesn't take that much time. So really, when your coaster is like this far done, when you've got the path work almost done, and the station's done, and the supports and the layouts all done, then you've pretty much got all of the work done almost. And foliage is just one last important thing to do. But anyway, I've been talking about that. Why, why did I talk about that? Anyway, um, see you all next time, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Bye.